Hi and welcome to Score Game. We are going to play another episode of Lucifer Within Us. But before we continue, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support. You just watching my videos really means a lot. But if you really want to show your support even more, leave a like so I know you guys enjoy this series. And of course, you can ask me anything you want in the comments. I reply to every single comment. Or you can even recommend games you think I should try in the future. Again, thanks a lot for the support. Let's solve some crimes. Okay, let's investigate this other part. Ribbons workshop. Coronet blueprints. Here blueprints. Plans for constructing the Aether Coronet. The purpose of the device seems to be uh, to be to amplify the user's Aether output. The components are amplifier, casing, and limiter. Can we not check the other one? It's not. What is this? The devil's herb. I knew something nefarious is afoot. The abbey must be purified of its scent. I should dispose of any that I find. Okay. Yes, there's nothing else? I guess there's nothing else. Found near Mother Miriam's body, parts of the amplifier component and bits of the casing have survived the explosion. But there, there is no part of the limiter. Found the Rubens workstation. Plans for restoring a relic that was recently bro brought to Synth or Purgas by Father Augustine. The elder brother less popular than Gideon due to his dark, cynical demeanor and his focus on the engineering of the implants. Younger brother crafts the casing and ornaments of implants and handles the ceremonial aspects of the installation. Is there nothing else around here? I guess there's nothing else. What do we do now? Talk to the older brother? Mother Miriam came to us to receive a consecration. You are Gideon, uh, you and Gideon greeted Mother Miriam together. That's right. Mother Miriam is our patron. So I insisted on being present. Gideon didn't mention me being there. Typical. Gideon suggested setting the coronet to have maximum. They didn't heed your warning? Why not? He didn't believe that his so-called genius makes him impervious to danger. An ordinary man might fail, but not Gideon the Grand. Okay, so this guy is envious, so he might be the real killer. As for Mother Miriam, she only has ears for Gideon. Today was no different. Curious, Tribune claims he went back to his workstation. What does Gideon say? Let's switch to his testimony. To prepare for this. Gideon claims that Tribune opened the door to the consecration chamber. Let's go back to Ruben. Gideon convinced her to move forward with the ceremony anyway. Let's unmask Ruben's lie. Okay. Ruben Garamond, you did not return to your workstation after the discussion. Gideon ordered you to open the consecration chamber for Mother Miriam. Ordered me? Is that what he told you? Despite his delusions, Gideon is certainly not my master. I did not open the chamber. Uh, I did open the chamber, it's true. I apologize for the omission. It's a regular part of our routine that it slipped my mind earlier. Okay, Ruben has amended his testimony, but his eye is open. Let's examine open chamber. Good, this statement from Ruben's testimony is now verified for two reasons. 
Corporation. Kitten's testimony confirms that Ruben's, uh, Ruben opened the door for Mother Miriam. In specificity, it has a shorter time frame and describes a clear set of events. I can assume that any verified statement like this is true, so it's the same thing as before. They decided to perform the ceremony anyway. I opened the consecration chamber while Gideon brought the coronet. Uh, so the door was closed until this point. Why did you not close it after Mother Miriam entered? Because I knew Gideon was bringing the coronet soon. The ceremony had yet to begin anyway, so it was still safe to keep the chamber open. Okay, so this is the first time it opened, and the second time it has to be after she died, right? So the door only opened twice. Since Gideon was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. What were you working on? I was restoring a ceremonial spear for tonight's mass. It is a magnificent relic. I think Abbot Gregory will be pleased with the result. Now let me switch to Gideon. Why do I have? Then I rose up, opened my eyes, and approached the control panel. I was ready to begin. Can we ask him about this one? We began by then I oh, we can. Did you hear or notice anything anything at this time? Come to think of it, I thought I heard something behind me. I don't remember exactly. My mind was focusing on the ceremony. Can we contradict? We can't really contradict because the other brother tried to stop him after this point. The anger output was dangerously high, but I had the chamber under control. You've now admitted that the ceremony was risky. What makes you so confident that you maintain control? Because I'm a maestro, I remember every bit of my performance. Nothing that I did could have overcome the coronet limiter. Oh. Control it. Yes. Well, he didn't say that the, the other brother tried to stop him. Isn't that... He kind of said... He didn't mention it. When Gideon activated the consecration chamber, I immediately... Why did you have to ask Gideon to stop? Why not force him? Couldn't you open the chamber or push Gideon aside? Interrupting the ceremony would have been more dangerous. Had I opened the chamber, the energy would have been let loose into the workshop. Had I pushed Gideon away, no one would have been controlling the energy gathered within the chamber. In either case, my action would have resulted in a greater catastrophe. Nothing I can say about that one. That's the unthinkable. In the end, there was nothing I could do to stop this tragedy. If only for Mother Miriam's sake, I hope you bring justice to my brother. Oh, okay. Since Gideon was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. Contradict. Gideon thought he heard something during his prayer. That doesn't make. Uh, that doesn't mean anything. He could have imagined it. Well, he said we he wasn't. By closing our eyes and contradict. To Einsoft. I thought I heard the chamber open, but didn't think much of it. Uh, I just proved to you that the door didn't open while you were praying. Is this not it? Coronet. Okay, let's uh, let's go back to Ruben. Since Gideon was and check his him. mind. Believer? Wait, what? Wait a second. 
since he was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. Oh, this is it. That is a believer. Found in Urban Sanctum, faithful servant of Ainsof, or so he thinks. He knows that cybernetics are a critical part of one of the one truth. Cybernetics empower us to in the eyes of the one true God, Ainsof. I am honored to be of service. Okay, I guess we're gonna go we back to Gideon came to and contradict this. Ceremony. I've performed this many times before, so... Lies unmasked! Lies, Gideon. Ruben tells me he was with you when Mother Miriam arrived. What? Hmm. Come to think of it, yes. He was standing there, cowling as usual. He was not, he was not just standing there. Try to stop you. Mother Miriam wanted her coronet to be extraordinary, so he convinced her to increase its ether output. Ruben warned you about the danger, but you insisted to Mother Miriam that the ceremony was safe. I love my brother, but Ruben can be a sniveling coward. He's exaggerating the risk. Uh, I don't think so. Yes, the ceremony had some danger. However, it was well within my abilities. I made no error. This is how it happened. Mother Miriam came to me for her consecration ceremony. I've performed this many times before, so I was confident. Mother Miriam. Uh, were you alone when greeting Mother Miriam? Mm, yes, I'm certain was I was alone then. What? I didn't change anything. Mother Miriam wanted the coronet to be spectacular, so I suggested maximizing its aether amplification. Uh, why is he still saying he was alone? Mother Miriam came to us to receive a consecration ceremony. Apologies, Sister Ada. I do not follow your logic. I don't understand anymore. Okay, Gideon apparently, going to I think we have to do something here. I went back to my tasks. Unfortunately, I was occupied at the time and did not see exactly what Gideon did. Oh, Gideon. Meanwhile, I adjusted the cord. What exactly did you modify? I modified the amplifier within its maximum settings. To do so, I had to temporarily remove the limiter. Contradict. We have the limiter right here. I have no idea what you mean. I found the limiter here instead of on the coronet. What do you mean? What do you mean? Contradict. Coronet remains. Listen. Okay then. The aether output was dangerously high, but I had the chamber under control. Uh, no, 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 I didn't want to ask. I wanted to contradict. Okay, that doesn't work. I vaguely recall him coming up to me. I didn't hear him. He was. Uh, I was too busy perf performing the ceremony. What if I ask you about your brother? Did Ruben return to work? I have no idea. That's not important here, anyhow. It's really important, dude. It's kind of important. Excellent. I have gone through the fundamental steps of the investigation of investigating a murder. However, there is much I have yet to uncover about this incident. I should continue to find more information, contradict the suspects with them, and try to accuse the suspect. No one will tell me when I am ready to accuse. That is entirely up to my discretion. However, there are no consequences for a failed accusation. Each failure will help me bring. Uh, will 
Help me bring me closer to the truth of the incident. Hmm. Did we miss anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. So the chamber was opened twice. So that means this brother is the murderer. Right? Since Gideon was we going can't to really contradict this. They decided to perform the ceremony, and since Gideon was going to, when Gideon activated tried the to stop him. chamber, I immediately felt something. Mm. There's a coronary spin in chamber, perform a spin pray in silence. Begin the song to start modeling the Aether. Intensify the Aether output by bringing the performance to a crescendo. That doesn't do anything. Doesn't this coronet limiter need to be on the coronet? I don't understand. That one confuses me. Mother Miriam's body. Found on Ribbon's workstations, plans for restoring a relic that was recently borrowed. Mm. Since Gideon was. So he didn't lie about this one. He tried to stop his brother. Yeah, I think the younger brother is. That's. I don't know, accuse him. Accuse, so. Can we change this one? Then it's taken from okay. okay. So this one I'm pretty sure is right. It means you kill her with the control panel. The control panel and the shattered coronet indicate that there was a dangerous amount of aether output. Yes, I was performing something slightly dangerous, but I had it under control. Clearly not, given what happened. You could have stopped the ceremony. Because I was confident I could do it safely, uh, something else must have gone wrong. No, no, no. So apparently this one was right. And motive. And apparently narcissist is not right. Believer? But this is his brothers. Maybe it works, let's see. Why would that want uh why would that make me want to kill Mother Miriam? Because you believed in yourself. Mm, and this narcissist one doesn't work. Okay, so we need to find another lie. So we can open. Oh, we can open his eye. Never mind. Skeptic. What? Contradict. Uh, not contradict. Accused. Motive. Skeptic. Fixian X virtually sleeps in public but doesn't really believe in the one truth or the demons. Weren't they rooted out a hundred years ago? Your fate is weak, Gideon. Indeed, you question the teachings of the church. You kill Mother Miriam because you have utter disdain for our fate. What nonsense. My skepticism merely serves to fuel my creativity. One must 
be open to all possibilities to create truly original works. Besides, this does not explain why I would wish to kill Mother Miriam in particular. I loved Mother Miriam. Okay, that's not it apparently. Okay, let's uh... Since Gideon was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. Can we really accuse him? Gideon thought that he heard something during this prayer. That doesn't mean anything, he could have imag imagined it. Uh, contradict. Button. You test my patience, Ruben. Has your memory slipped once more? The door records show that the consecration chamber was opened twice today. Even that Gideon was praying during this time, only you could have opened the chamber. Dude, this has to be a mistake because if he opened it when Miriam entered and it's open again now, that's two. If he opened it a third time during the ceremony, that's three times, not two times. What? It's true that I opened the chamber again, just before the ceremony started. But I had my reasons. Something about the chamber seemed unseemly. Huh? That's a big fat lie. Given what happened to Mother Miriam, I feel vindicated in my fears. Tell me what you did in the chamber. Dude, we caught a liar. Since Gideon was going to handle everything, I went back to my tasks. Okay. Also, this is the same thing. So I opened the consecration chamber to verify that the coronet was in working order. <laughs> That's a big fat lie, dude. Okay, this is the criminal. Uh, so I what were you checking? To perform the consecration ceremony safely, precision is critical. I wanted to make sure the coronet was placed correctly on Mother Miriam. Ha, ah, that's a big fat lie, dude. I, I don't think you're even allowed to go during the ceremony. Fine, so I return to my desk again. Oh, so what we're working on is the same thing. Check chamber. So I opened the consecration chamber to verify that the coronet was in working order. Okay, let's open his eye and find the envy. Envy, 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 envy. There we go, there we go. Come on, we caught you, dude. You're mine. So I opened the consecration key. Uh, accuse. Opportunity. Here. During the prayer, you claim to have opened the chamber to ch check the materials. This was when you sabotaged the ceremony. Uh, the means. I know, I know the motive. The motive is envy. Mother Mi Miriam was our patron. Why would I want to harm her? Mother Miriam's death was merely a means to an end. Humiliation of Gideon. You envy your brother's success. You want his fame, his glory. I knew it. But the means? Gideon was the one that operated the device. How could I have affected the chamber or Mother Miriam? Same thing, this. Uh, there was nothing faulty with the coronet itself. Indeed, the craftsmanship was flawless, as was Gideon's performance of the ceremony. But you removed the limiter from the coronet without Gideon's knowledge, which coupled with the coronet's high amplification caused an oversurge. Gideon's arrogance may have endangered Mother Miriam, but you ensured that she would die from him from it. I we caught him. Sees all, 
you killed Mother Miriam to frame Gideon and take him down a peg. With Gideon gone, a daemon whispered that people would finally recognize you for your genius. I am older than Gideon. My work is better than Gideon, and more important. But no one sees my work. No one understands my work. Confess, Reuben. Tell us what the daemon made you do. Oh, uh, do we get to pick the demon? Gideon was Mother Miriam's favorite. She barely knew I existed. When Gideon suggested increasing the ether output of the coronet, I had an idea. I would sabotage the ceremony by removing the limiter. Mother Miriam had no idea what was about to happen to her. I went back to my workstation, waiting for Gideon to close his eyes. While Gideon and Mother Miriam were praying, I reopened the chamber and removed the limiter. The thing that I don't understand is if if they prayed they're like I don't know asleep or something they can't hear and see anything. I mean the guy removes when the coronet from your head. Ceremony, I placed the limiter on his table so that it would look as though his negligence led to Mother Miriam's death. When the oversearch began, I goaded Gideon on by telling him to stop the ceremony. Of course he didn't listen. And so Mother Miriam died. I killed her. I regret only that I've been discovered. Idiots. Let me check your eye. Corruption runs deep within Reuben's soul, yet Reuben may still be saved. Now we want to save him? I must speak the daemon's true name. Then the daemon will be cast out. Ain Suf, guide me. What daemon has possessed Reuben? Hey, oh my god. Uh, what if I choose uh, wrong here? Deceitful demon who slowly drives the whole smat. It's not this. Manifest in ambitious and strong will, promising them their heart's desire in exchange for their soul. I don't think this is it. The host is compelled to consume stranger and filter things until nothing remains. Praise upon the fervent and righteous, holding them to take matters into their own hands. This might be it because he's uh, faithful or whatever. I really don't know. I really don't know. Blames others for their ill fortune. Hmm. This might be it actually. Because, you know, he was uh, envious of his brother. Until the apparent injustice drags them to take what is rightfully theirs. Oh, this one is not ambitious and strong, so it's not this host is compelled to consume stranger and filter things. Okay, so it's between the Satanas and Lotan. A furious demon that stalks the simmering range within the host. Raised upon the fervent and righteous. I don't think this is it. I think this is one. This is the one. The host blames others for their ill fortune until the apparent injustice drives them. Yeah, this is it. Out, Lotan. Leave this soul and return whence you came. Nice, I got it. Magnificently done, Madam Exorcist. The power of Ainsoft compels you, Lotan. Leave this soul and return to the ether. How 
thousands of years, and you humans never change. Never satisfied, always comparing, wanting more. Someone else is always richer, prettier, wiser, better. Nothing can ever fill that void within you. Not even me. Silence, Lotan. Reuben may yet be redeemed. You are a scourge. Without your influence, a good woman would still be alive. Leave humans be, Lotan. I banish you to the ether! As you wish, but I'll return soon enough. My prince and master Lucifer walks among you. Lucifer will open the gates of hell, and at last, humanity will remember its full potential. Until then, Madam Exorcist, adieu. Come forth, Reuben. What remains of you? Dude, everything was amazing so far. Th thank, thank. <laughs> He's silent and still. Poor soul. Rest, Reuben. Heal, if you can. Sister Ada, you've returned. Was there a demon at work after all? I'm afraid so. The exorcism was a success. Reuben's soul has been purged. Unfortunately, the daemon was difficult to cleanse. Reuben is returned to pure innocence. What? The exorcism shattered his mind? Can you bring him back? It's out of my hands. If Ain Suf wills it, maybe Reuben will heal. Guards! Please escort this... shell to the cryostasis cellar. I pray for his swift recovery. A Abbot Gregory! Praise be to Einsorf, Sister Ada. You have saved us all. On behalf of everyone at St. Walpurgis, I express our utmost gratitude. We are not yet safe. We must act quickly until we locate the source of the demonic influence. We don't understand yet why demons would act after 100 years. Holy Father, we must quarantine the Abbey and the surrounding town immediately. Detain and interrogate anyone who seems suspicious. We can try, Sister Ada, but it will be difficult, as we have visitors arriving hourly. Much like yourself, pilgrims from afar are here to celebrate Walpurgis now. It's such a shame Mother Miriam couldn't bear witness to it. Ah, yes. The priestess. We must destroy her body immediately. Traces of demonic influence may remain from her contact with Reuben. No, Sister Ada, thank you for your concern, but we absolutely cannot. Mother Miriam was a prominent figure and well-loved, with decades of service. We must treat her body with dignity and give her a proper burial. Send Mother Miriam's body to the mortuary for embalming. Your Excellency, we really ought to take the advice of the Exorcist. I think this is gonna lead to the second episode. Mother Miriam's body has been desecrated enough, Virgil. Send her to the mortuary, now! As you command, Your Excellency. Holy Father, you are making a grave mistake. Sister Ada, don't worry yourself. All will be well. Oh, you're Lucifer, dude. You're possessed by Lucifer. St. Walpurga's triumph over Lucifer has brought us a century of peace and bliss. It's horrifying that a demon was exorcised from our abbey, but surely it was the final remnant. This guy is Lucifer. The daemon within Reuben spoke of Lucifer's return. Lucifer's ways are insidious. Even the most devout among us have temptations. It's a shame Brother Reuben fell to the demon. But the rest of my flock is stronger. Faith shall be their shield. Now, please excuse me. This evening's mass requires my attention. We are honored by your presence, Sister Ada. Praise be to Einsorf. 
Even the Holy Father can be foolish then. Ain Suf, let it not be true that Lucifer walks. But if it is, Ain Suf, guide me, that I may unmask all lies, no matter how painful. This is going to be the end for this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. You can ask me anything you want in the comments. I usually answer to everyone, or you can even recommend games you think I should try in the future. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified the moment I post a new episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.